Hi, sweet yogi. Welcome to this late night yoga session. It's perfect if you're about to hop into bed and you realize that you haven't done any form of yoga today, which actually happens to me pretty often because sometimes days get crazy. You never know. So just take some time to love yourself and you'll sleep much better as we move through these a uh, little flowy, mellow class. So we're just gonna be moving through some postures really nice and slow, a little bit of twisting, stretching, and getting the body nice and relaxed. So it's perfect if you're ready for bed, but your mind still hasn't shut off yet. This will help you really get into the zone for some restful sleep. So thank you for joining me and I hope that you enjoy. Welcome to this late night yoga session. So we want to get nice and comfortable. So we want to use two yoga mats or practice on top of a blanket or a carpet. Just something really comfortable. And we're going to go ahead and start in downward facing dog. So find your down dog. And just use this stretch as just that, a stretch. This isn't going to be a heavy workout. We're just starting here. This is just our starting point. Feel that nice stretch in the back of the legs. So our feet and our hands are going to be the same distance. Fingers are spread out wide. And just... Let yourself be as passive as you can in this down dog. Nice, deep breaths. So on your next inhale, reach your right leg up into the sky into three-legged dog. And from your three-legged dog, just bend your knee, stack your hip open, making sure to keeping, keep your shoulders square, and just make some big circles with that knee. Lubricate your hip socket for three, two, and one. So inhale brings you back into three-legged dog. And then on the exhale, you're going to step that right foot outside the right hand followed by the left foot stepping outside the left hand. So both feet step forward. You're at the top of the mat in a little squat in Malasana. So you might have to step your feet out a little bit wider. Just make sure that you're comfortable. Spine's usually round when we first enter this pose, so we're going to make it our goal to straighten the spine. So bring your hands to your heart center after you've found your balance. Press your elbows onto your knees. And then inhale, keep pressing your elbows on your knees until your spine is straight. For three, gaze at the tip of the nose or up at the sky for two, and one. So gently releasing, we're going to just gently rock and sit back. So sit back on your sit bones. So hopefully you got some cushion beneath you or just use your, uh, your bum cushion. <laughs> so we're sitting back and you're going to extend your right leg out in front and pull your left knee up towards the chest. So your foot is going to be flat with the heel outside the hip, knee up towards the armpit. So make sure that there's distance in between the foot and the thigh. Go ahead and check. There should be about a fist width or a hand width distance. And then place your left arm behind your back, right behind your tailbone. Inhale, reach your right arm up into the sky. And then exhale, let that elbow come to the outside of the left knee and twist. So twist yourself with each exhale, get a little deeper. So you can start, you know, not very twisted. And in each exhale, we twist further. So 
right hand you can take a mudra so forefinger and thumb together two more breaths each inhale lengthening sitting up a little taller and each exhale twisting back either gazing at your hand or towards the back of the room one more breath Next inhale, just gently release and come back to center facing forward. Drop that left knee out towards the side. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then exhale, fold forward. So your choice right here, how active that you want to be. You can be completely passive. And just plant your hands outside the thighs and gently sink your forehead towards your thigh. Or if you'd like to, you can grab onto something, maybe your shin or your ankle or maybe your foot and pull yourself down. So your practice, your body, two more breaths. One more breath. So next inhale, just gently start to walk yourself back up and we're going to pull the right foot outside the right hip. So both knees are going to be bent. Uh, left foot is up near the perineum inside the thigh. So then just pull the right knee back. So both knees are out towards the left side. So if this is a little bit challenging, just modify. You can place a, a pillow underneath your bum to make this a little bit easier to get into. Or if you're there and your heel's right outside the right hip, you're just going to start to lean back. So inhale through the nose. And then on the exhale, just place both hands behind you and lean back. So we're kind of stretching the quadricep and the front of the hips. And then maybe you can lower down to the forearms behind you, or maybe just keep sinking all the way down. Two more breaths. And one more breath like this, sinking a little deeper with each exhale. So inhale, just gently rise up, walk yourself back up. Plant your hands out in front and then scoot your knees back so that you're in hands and knees. Wrist, elbows, and shoulders in one straight line. Knees directly below the hips. Let's find our cat-cow flow. Inhale, drop your belly down. Nose guides you up. Exhale, press the earth away, round the spine, pull the chin in towards the chest. Inhale, your nose guides you up, dropping the belly down, taking a nice back bend. Exhale, round the spine, press the earth away, chin to chest, and just Tap your ears over to your shoulders and gently stretch out your neck. And then just inhale back into a neutral spine. Curl up your toes and lift your hips back into down dog. So again, just coming back into down dog, appreciating down dog for this simple stretch. Stretching the back of the legs and the upper back and the arms. Inhale, the left leg reaches up into the sky. Bend your knee, stack your hips open, keep your shoulders square to the earth, and make some big circles with the knee. So just follow your breath, follow your body, lubricating your hip socket for three, two, Change directions if you haven't already. And one. Inhale, extend the left leg back into three-legged dog. 
Exhale, step the left foot outside the left hand. The right foot follows outside the right hand. We're back in Malasana at the top of the mat into our squat. You know where to go. Place your hands at your heart center, elbows pressing onto the knees. Inhale, press the elbows on the knees until your spine is straight for three, two, and one. Now sit back or place your hands behind you and sit back to can, and then extend the left leg out in front. Right knee comes in towards the chest this time. Make sure that your heels outside the hip, so check your distance. You should be hands width distance in between the foot and the thigh. Right arm reaches behind the back. Inhale, left arm reaches up and into the sky. And then exhale, take your twist. So left elbow comes outside that right knee. Each inhale, we lengthen and sit a little bit taller. And each exhale, we sink and twist a little bit deeper, gazing back at your hand or towards the back of the room. Take a mudra with the left hand, forefinger and thumb together. One more breath. Inhale, gently come back around. Drop that right knee out to the side, bottom of the foot inside the thigh. Lift your collarbones. Inhale, sweep your arms up. And exhale, hinge forward. Forward. So again, you can take this passively or you can be active and grab onto something and pull your forehead towards your shin for three, two, and one. So inhale, just gently rise up. And again, we're going to pull that left foot to the outside of the left hip. So bend at the knee, pull the foot back. If this is a little bit more of a challenge, uh, sit on top of a pillow before pulling that, that foot back. And then placing the hands behind you, inhale through the nose. And then exhale, just gently lean back. Taking this as deep as you'd like to go, you can stay up on the palms or maybe sink to your forearms or maybe arch all the way back. Last two. And one. So inhale, gently rise back up. Unravel your legs. And reach the hands out, sending the knees back into hands and knees. Wrists, elbows, and shoulders stack, knees directly below the hips. Press your right palm in towards the earth. Inhale through your nose. Lift the left hand up, and then exhale, we'll thread the needle. So the left arm comes behind the right, coming all the way onto your left shoulder and your left temple. You can keep that right palm pressed into the earth or you can send it behind the back. And if you're feeling really flexible, really feeling like getting nice and deep, you can even extend the right leg and catch the foot with the left hand for three, two, and one awesome job so just inhale come back to center plant the left palm down inhale through the nose and exhale take this over to the other side thread the needle right arm comes behind the left arm coming all the way onto the right shoulder and the right temple just keep that palm pressed into the earth or send the left arm behind the back and again, you can also take this deeper 
by extending the left leg and catching the foot with the right hand. Just go as deep as your body allows for three, two, and one. So inhale brings you back to center, back into your hands and knees. Pull your knees together so that they're right next to each other and then drop your hips over towards the right and then extend both legs out wide. So we're out on the width of the mat, on the length of the mat with the legs out wide. So you can take the legs out as wide as you'd like to, just follow your body. And then placing the back of the left arm on the top of the left thigh. Inhale, reach your right arm up into the sky. And then exhale, lean over towards the left. For three, two, and one. Inhale, gently rise up. Switch sides, back of the right arm top, touches the top of the right thigh. Inhale, left arm reaches up into the sky. And exhale, lean over towards the right. For three, two, and one. So place both hands out in front. Gently lift yourself up, tilt the pelvis forward. Inhale, lift your heart, and then exhale, just lean forward. So maybe you walk the hands out in front, or maybe you can sink all the way down. Maybe place your forehead on the ground. Just follow your breath. Each exhale pulls you deeper for three, two, and one. So just inhale, gently rise back up. Pull that right knee towards you. Bend the left knee up. Walk back into your hands and knees. So this time, the knees are directly below the hips again. Fingers spread out wide. Wrist elbows, shoulders stacked. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, send the hips in one direction and the head in the opposite direction, taking some big hip circles. So there's no wrong way to do this. Just feel your body out. So just let yourself get nice and relaxed as you move side to side. And as it feels right for you, change up the polarity and switch directions, shifting weight into the outer edges of your right hip. Shifting weight back in towards the heels. All the way out into the outer edges of the left hip. And forward into the palm, stretching out the wrists. So next inhale, just come back into a neutral spine, back into your hands and knees, pull the knees back together, drop, drop your hips over towards the left side, extending the legs out towards the side, and then pull the bottoms of the feet together into Baddha Konasana. So we're going to take two Baddha Konasanas. First one, we're going to take a wide diamond. So let your feet really come out far in front of you in a wide diamond. So same thing that we did in our wide-legged stretch. You just want to gently plant your hands out in front of your hips and just barely lift yourself. It will, it will help to naturally tilt the pelvis forward. Inhale, bring your hands to your heart. And exhale, hinge forward. Maybe place the elbows to the knees, or you can maybe pull your forehead towards the bottoms of the feet for three, two, and one. 
Inhale, gently rise up, pull the heels in closer towards the pelvis. Interlace your fingers around your toes. Inhale through the nose. And exhale, really round the spine, pulling the forehead towards the feet. For three, two, and one. So inhale, gently rise up, plant the hands out and towards the front of the mat, slide both knees back into your hands and knees, and then sit back into child's pose and rest. We've reached the end of this class. In your child's pose, pull your knees directly next to each other. So right next to each other beneath your chest. Reach your hands back for your heels and surrender your forehead towards the earth. Sinking down into child's pose and just rest and relax. I hope you enjoyed this practice. And I hope that you have sweet, sweet dreams. All of my love. Namaste.